Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll show you what to do if your laptop or desktop PC suddenly lost a Wi-Fi connection. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you decided to connect to the Internet by Wi-Fi, but you can't see any available networks, if your Wi-Fi connection stops working properly or you see a red cross over the network icon in the system tray, in this video, I'll show you what might cause the problem and how to fix it. So, first of all, you may think, alright, there are no Wi-Fi networks nearby, so that's why my laptop can't find them. But what can be done if you know for sure there must be at least one network available, <laughs> since you are at home? To begin with, let's find out what could cause the problem. For starters, make sure there are available Wi-Fi networks in your location. To check it, try establishing a Wi-Fi connection from another device, for example, your smartphone. Open the settings, Wi-Fi and search for wireless networks. If your phone can see at least one of them, go back to your laptop. If you see a red cross here, that's one problem. But if there is no Wi-Fi icon at all, it's a different matter. First of all, let's see what happens if you see a red cross here. At once, make sure the Wi-Fi module is turned on. To do it, open Network and Internet settings, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter settings. Look for the wireless network to see if it is disabled. Right-click on the network icon, enable or disable it. Following that, you can run the Diagnostics tool, sometimes it can help. Click on the Internet Connection icon in the system tray and select Network Troubleshooter. The Diagnostics window will show up and Windows will try to find and fix possible issues that prevent your laptop from detecting the Wi-Fi network. Wait for the process to finish. As you can see, it says the Wi-Fi module is disabled. By the way, most laptops have specific key shortcuts for various functions, and turning the Wi-Fi module on is one of them. It could be FN plus F2 or a dedicated button. Check if it is in the right position for Wi-Fi to be enabled, because you may have pressed it unintentionally and cut your connection for good. So, find the button or key shortcut on your laptop and see if it can improve the situation. If everything is enabled but you still see the red cross, Run the diagnostics and Windows may inform you that the wireless service is not running on this computer. You can try recovering it as administrator. If such solution is not available or it doesn't work, open the services window by typing this word in the search field or by right-clicking on the Start button, choosing Computer Management, Services and Applications. Find WLAN Autoconfig on the list and look at its status. By default, its status should be Running and on startup type Automatic. If the service is disabled, right-click on it, select Properties, set startup type to Automatic and click OK. Then restart the computer. Now check the connection. Also, visit Mobility Center to see if wireless networks are enabled. To open Mobility Center, right-click on the Start menu and select Mobility Center. Otherwise, open the Run window by pressing the key shortcut Windows plus R and type the following command. When Wi-Fi is disabled here, you see the red cross in the system tray. Click Turn Wireless on. This way, you enable the Wi-Fi module. The next thing uh, to be checked is to make sure you have proper drivers installed for the Wi-Fi module. In order to find out, just open the Device Manager, right-click and select Device Manager from the list. Open Network Adapters. Look for the line containing the word Wireless or Wi-Fi. 
This is the adapter your laptop uses to connect to a Wi-Fi network. If you have such line, look at the icon next to it. It should look exactly the way it looks in my example. If the network adapter section shows you only one adapter, the LAN network card, and there is no wireless adapter, uh, probably you need to install the corresponding driver. Visit your laptop manufacturer's website, use the search field to find your laptop model, go to the driver download page and download the latest driver for your WLAN, that is wireless, adapt. After that, install it. If you have a wireless adapter but it doesn't work, right-click on it and select Properties. Read attentively what it says in the Device Status window. It must read like this. This device is working properly. Right-click on the adapter again and check if you can see the option Enable device. If it is present, choose it. As you do that, everything should start working properly. Also, you can try rolling back the driver if you have updated it recently and your Wi-Fi connection stopped working, or updating it. All of these can be done through the Properties window. You can also try reinstalling the driver. Click Uninstall device here, but before that, you should have already downloaded a proper driver from the manufacturer's official website. Alternatively, switch to the Details tab, select Hardware IDs, and use this data to find a driver on the Internet, so that you can download it and install it after you uninstall the device. One more way is to uninstall the device and let the operating system install a suitable driver automatically. There is one more way of solving this problem – to change the region settings. In the Device Manager, open Properties for the Wi-Fi model, switch to the tab Advanced, select Country Region 2.4 GHz and change its value to this one. In your specific case, setting a different value may also help. Finally, if there is no button displayed to manage your Wi-Fi adapter, open Settings, Network and Internet, and if you don't see the Wi-Fi line, well, the Airplane Mode tab doesn't make you happy either because it can't find wireless devices, it means that you either don't have a driver for the Wi-Fi model or the model is disabled, or even that there is no Wi-Fi model in your computer at all. But you already know how to install the driver and turn the Wi-Fi module on. And if you are using a desktop PC, all you need is a Wi-Fi adapter. All these solutions for the missing Wi-Fi connection problem will work equally well in Windows 10, 8 or 7. And that is all for now. I hope that my recommendations help you fix the problem. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!